What about my sweat equity? Sweat equity. Sweat, 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 sweat equity. My sweat equity. My, my, my sweat equity. Woo! Sweat you know we're not allowed to do that signal. Nobody does sees that part anyway. I don't even it's know fine. what that's called. I just know Steve McNair used to do it. Oh, we can't do that. Absolutely not. He's been dead ten years. All right. Oh, he, that's right. He died ten years ago. That's I forgot about that. He got shot, huh? Did he? Didn't he get shot? Oh, great. We're right off the bat, not knowing what the hell we're talking about. I know. We're all mixed up because we got to get a hotty toddy to really get you going. What? Yeah. Uh, hashtag girthy ROI. Hashtag 69. B2B. Reciprocate that love to your friends' businesses out there. Like Tampaniac Pictures. Pop, 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 pictures. And behind the glass producing today. Let's see if he turns his mic on. He won't. Thanks, guys. There he is. Good. Good Kill job. It. Doing real great. Really good. Looking. How's your little list going there, buddy? My rundown? Your rundown. I printed it on the Bluetooth paper oh. to see if oh. it shows up, how this would print out, and then it can populate on my live scribe notebook. So anybody out there, I blew someone's mind that I've definitely shown this pen to before, but now the app has gotten a lot better with the pen, and in real time I can draw – Anything on the notebook paper, and mm. it'll pop populate as I'm doing it. I stopped listening after you said you blew someone. I blew someone. I blew a trucker, and I was showing him about how to use this Bluetooth pen <laughs> in the cabin. He invited me in. Uh, you know, those Flying Jays, they're not just gas stations. Steve McNair was shot to death. Yeah? Big time. What was he doing? Um, laying there with bullets and was I'm he, my guess. Was he hanging out after 10 p.m.? Because, you know, nothing good happens after 10 I'm gonna p.m. I'm going to say, and rather than scroll down further to find out what really happens, I think he was on a couch and there was some kind of domestic issue and... Hmm. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, domestic issues Air are... Air like McNair. The number one, like, scary thing, like, um, like the worst thing for a cop to be called right, on. yeah. Because Can't. they always end up some like something bad happens. Yeah, because that's when the crazy comes out. When yeah. there's love and sex involved. Emotions, <sighs> you know, that's why we're human. We're not we're not perfect. Speaking Did you come in it? Mm, speaking of uh that's the first thing the cops ask. <laughs> yeah. Did you come in it? No. And then they ask for your ID. <laughs> now give in. Now what's the problem here? <laughs> and you're like, in what? You're like uh, I have a flat tire. Glove compartment? That's a good shot. Um so Anything on your mind? Mm. You were telling me about uh, a, a thrilling podcast. <laughs> oh, my Intuit QuickBooks. From Intuit QuickBooks. Well, if anything. Or uh, Intuit that owns like QuickBooks, TurboTax. Yeah, it was a public Mint. service Dot announcement com. idea. Mm -hmm. Just because uh, we listened to a podcast, my wife and I, uh, about how, how Intuit, cool. uh, when they the government made a rule that um, or no, they decided they were going to allow people to file their taxes online, but it was going to be free. And they uh, shopped it out to a bunch of different online companies that did that stuff. Intuit ended up getting most of the business, I guess. And now these days, um, they had taken the free tax service that they offered and buried it on the Internet. And then also created a free, like a TurboTax Freedom thing that made it seem like it was going to be free but it never was but they still offered the other one you just couldn't find it and then whatever dude on gimbal media like tracked it down and you then like they to got a it. gimbal media know, dude, dude that's all after they rejected us imagine if i talked like this every time i said a sentence <laughs> there is over that and over weird npr they like, all do it it drives me fucking Ira i can't Glass do it yeah style. they're all trying to do Ira Glass. i'm pj fart face whatever his name is I don't oh remember. you know pj <laughs> PJ PJ Fartface. Um, oh, but anyway, there's a uh, <laughs> there's DJ uh, Fartface. There is around. free tax uh, options out there, and I think since they did that like expose, they were able to make it more easily accessible. There's something to do with recent um, legislature that that actual like article that was written about it like got it overturned. So. If you don't have a lot of money and you need to file your taxes, you should be able to find it online so somewhere. I've done TurboTax on my own. 
Um, I I I also think it's like one of the best products out there. Like for what it, I use that as like a shorthand. A lot of right. times when we're talking about ops and stuff, because what they've done, TurboTax, even though you they've they've done this kind of nefarious thing and have a lot of upsell to it, it it still can you can still do your taxes. I know on the state or f- the state level, like Florida or Texas or whatever, you still get that for free on there. Well, I mean, there's one part that's free. The Federal state for state. us is there is no income tax, but they don't so char- they don't charge you to use the software. Is what I'm right? Saying. Yeah, as a service, it's called SaaS software as a service. Um, well, so, now that is more easily accessible, and so than it used to be. Well, and so it the charge is nominal to me doing the taxes because it saved me so much time. And yeah. It's really just one big decision tree that your accountant does with you anyway. Right. But someone sat down and broke down that decision tree. Scott Nelson, Nelson McKay, CPA, check him out. <laughs> um, I, I would give mine a shout out, but I don't know his uh, <laughs> his I forget, firm. I forget the firm name because it's really long. It's a lot of guys. <laughs> it's like three old dude names. Um, but I would say that Legal Zoom did the same thing. Yeah. And so it's the same. It's the same idea. But that is crazy that you should have that offering. And the government's probably too far behind to, re- you know, restrict what they were doing. Well, we're I mean, five steps behind. We're the only country in the world that makes it this hard. Like Australia takes like ten minutes. Lots of countries have their yeah, employers but doing full it for criminals and shit. Australia's got, pretty cool these days. They got criminal genetics though. I'm not. I'm not comparing us to Australia. I got criminal genetics, bro. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, I was gonna make a white power joke, but you. Uh... That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Another easy segue <laughs> about my Hatfield heritage. My great great grandfather's Devil Lance Hatfield dovetails right into it. You're part of that. There's not much else to add to it. Part of that it. history, man. Be yeah. proud. I am. Not, Loud and proud. I hate his heritage. At least we were on the winning side, not them pussy. I don't even remember the story. I told you I tried to listen to Time Suck episode about it, and it was like I, I don't know the story like I should. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> there was a pig involved, and there was a woman like the one of the Hatfield boys was hooking up with a McCoy girl and something. I don't remember. The pig was watching, and then like the only the person pig was who the original <laughs> cuck, and then they like had some guy who was like mentally. Uh, slowed. Who was the only one who got any touched, sort of yes? Who was only the only one who was prosecuted for anything? <laughs> they wanted blood, and that's what they did. Man, if there's not Crazy. bestiality in this story, you I said there's sh- a pig. You sure as hell just made it sound like there was. <laughs> <laughs> trying to walk around that. No, I don't know for Our sure. I don't think there was. Pig fucking. I don't think it was a point of contention. Not saying they didn't do it. I don't know. I'm just saying. It's it cold. I don't think that was in the those big coal deal. mining hills. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. lots of coal in my my nail. You got <laughs> black lung and everything. All right. Um, <laughs> so you got th- that's all you know about it. I don't. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I watched the Kevin Costner uh, mini series thing. I forgot it. It's so, on Paramount Network. No, it was good. That was actually that's Yellowstone. A pretty fun one. Um, but it was it's weird watching it with like a team to root for. You yeah. know, most people watch it as like informational. Yeah, yeah. I you watch like um uh Dancers with Wolves and you're going for white people, right? <laughs> or, or like, you know, some redneck watching Gettysburg <laughs> doesn't know the ending. Or glory. <laughs> yeah. Come on, South. <laughs> I think we got I this. I bet on you. I think we got this. Glory, have have you seen Glory in a while? Uh, I don't think I've ever seen Glory. Oof, that, that's when you've got to watch once and then kind of never again. Yeah, I'm not really into those Schindler's List types where it's like, you, well, you have not, to watch it. It's not it's that history. It's, gruesome. it's pretty just gruesome, that's all. Which yeah, can get you, that can give, be the lead in to get you into one of I those don't know. Movies. I'm not into gore and gruesomeness. What are you into? Just mostly porn. Yeah? Mostly. Gore porn? Al Gore. Tentacle Al porn. Al Gore porn. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> Wish I knew how to do an Al Gore impersonation. Lockbox. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so Pornhub is oh, yeah. main. Sure. I mean, I didn't know Definitely. if you're a browsers guy. You got your own account. What are we talking about? No. I don't know. The only person I know who's uh, ever paid for it <laughs> is on the other side of the glass, John Paul Lavity. Whoa, he, he peeked out too so I could see his Yeah, face. he knew I was going to talk about him. It was like perfect timing. He's like, hello. As soon as I, he was like, "Oh, dude, you got you can use my password." I was like, "What are you talking password? about? Password? You pay?" 
Someone has to, right? Somebody's doing it. Right. And we know who. And we probably have a lot of friends that secretly do, you know, but, you know, it takes a certain kind of certain kind of moxie to <laughs> to talk about having that. Well, I mean, think of what would we do if they all got together and be like, let's just charge them now. Uh, the Well, the. It Some would, other creepy they website would just will. pop up. They probably, I mean, that's just business. After a while, you can't like. But we're so conditioned to the free porn. Well, I mean, Google's a similar would be a similar strategy, right? Yeah, they basically own the internet, so presumably Pornhub owns a lot of the share online. I don't know. I think it's like uh, the number ten most used website. <laughs> yeah, and of, like I love uh, what was the HBO show with Mike Judge. Um, God damn it. Oh, Silicon Valley. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I love how they, they would kind of put in their weave in and out of episodes about how the porn side of everything online basically advances technology. Yeah, it drives for, it. Yeah. <laughs> for everything. Well, it's always like, oh, we have this new technology, but we don't really know what we can use it for. And there's a guy from the porn industry in the corner being like, I know what we can use it for. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys, I've been waiting for you. <laughs> Dirty Ronnie's talking again. Hello. Dirty Mike and the boys. Any insight on that, John Paul? He doesn't want to pipe up. Pipe in. Stab in. Give us some info. He's, He's not. Button. He's He's I'm on a delay. I know, but know. It, it was it's 10 minutes ago. Talk. Which porn site were you paying for? That was a long time ago. I don't remember. Yes, you do. You still have it, too, don't you? I like the part about how much moxie I have. You got it, kid. For telling you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you know. We're very open in our relationships. I'll use a word here. from 07. You got a lot of swagger, kid. So hey, hmm, that's the wrong one. But, uh, <laughs> you get it. Wow. What's the point of your uh, little list there if we're not if you don't have anything to talk about? Oh, I, I got something to talk about. Oh, okay. I was just uh, we're just vamping, man. <laughs> we're just shooting the shit. Just classic. Yeah, we're just we're just tossing classic. around, just throw, throwing some flaccid uh, topics out there. Uh, so I I see I kind of hate and love that one meme that's been passed around to everybody that's worked in an office environment or a white collar kind of place. You're on a computer most of the day kind of place. Um, the meme that uh, the top or it's 10 things that require zero talent. Uh huh. You know, show up on time. You've seen it on your feed, right? Yeah. I feel like, like I do all that shit already. Give me some new information. Right. And it's like, uh, so I kind of love that because it's right. Yeah. I was trying to write a a, 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 a blog post uh, about this. Right. But like kind of in our kind of way of being a little bit more pragmatic and kind of funny about it. Kind of. Kind of. So I was trying to write 10, 10 additional ones because that's not enough. I'm going to read. I'm going to read them out loud. Oh, I thought you were doing one for like the podcast rules. I've got those too. That, oh, we okay. might do that in another episode. Okay. That's more about like how to that's more like just about podcasting in general right okay Th this was another list i had but you've seen this list uh john paul have you seen this i just want to i want to get a litmus test i don't know i feel like everybody has seen this meme of right. some sort passed yeah, around haven't. once all, all right, right. Well, let, read it off for us what are the top 10 things the 10 that things require that no talent zero talent being on time work ethic effort body language energy Attitude, passion, being coachable, doing extra, and being prepared. Mm. Yes, those are all very good. So I'm, I was I was thinking about that. I've been wanting to write. I want been right. I'm trying to get back into writing a lot more and making myself sit down and do it for an hour and see where it takes me. Uh, it's good for your brain, even if nothing comes from it. It's really good, actually. It actually helps with a lot of other things when I when I weave it into my morning routine for just 20 minutes, like. It, it's a weird thing that you're like activating a different part that then helps the other parts of your brain. If that makes sense, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. by it, like like we we talk about confusion working or something. out in the morning sets you up to be better prepared the rest of the day. Yeah, it's like a mental workout. Right. So it's good. What I used to do would when I was uh, trying to do a writing exercise um, for stand up, and I'm kind of doing it now is get a legal pad out in the middle, write a premise, and then write how I can get to that premise. And then write tags after the so we'll we'll bring up how some, to get to the premise or how to get to a punchline how to get to that 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 
that idea. So I'll have an idea, right? I'll write okay, it down. So it's kind of the same thing, the way we're talking about it. Yeah. The premise and the punchline. Well, uh, the idea no, for the joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What so is the joke? We'll bring up something on here. I'll write it down as something that's kind of funny for stage, but it's just usually like one line. Yeah. And you got to build around that. So I, gotcha. I write it in the middle of the page, and then I'll try to, how did we get to here? Try to write something about that, and then I'll try to write after the punchline what the tags are, the other points of view in the room kind of thing. It's very similar to Chappelle and and then I kicked her in the pussy his his like closing joke for one of his 15 stand-ups that he's done in the last 3 yeah. years where it's like he has like a jar of premises. Right, right, right. And he'll just pull that out or like the punchline. Oh, that's one of the most impressive things right. because I'm going to tell you that these are throwaways. Yeah. Basically, or whatever he says, he's like this is like trash. Oh, it's like other the way he and it was his closing joke. It was the yeah. last thing he did too. But that's like that's, that's Dave the, Chappelle. Like, might be the greatest of all he's time. He's so good <laughs> like, that he can call. Yes. He can call a shot. Yeah, basically. exactly. And so he's the Babe Ruth of. It, yeah, it, he's, yeah. And I used to say uh, "pussy juice" a lot as something funny to say, and <laughs> now I feel like uh, people think I'm copying that. He owns it. He owns it now. Uh, I can't use it. Same with uh, I saw another joke that I've I've done forever. Or when I first started stand up on Family Guy the other night, I was like, "Well, there goes that." <laughs> um, I can't probably remember. good if it was. Yeah, it's not. Family Guy. It's it's just parallel thinking. Um, so, you know, these aren't that big of a deal. Being on time, work ethic, effort, body language, energy, attitude, passion, being coachable, doing extra, being prepared. Pretty yes. simple, right? You've managed some people. How many people hit all ten? Very few. Very few. It's weird though. It's like I wouldn't say I hit all ten either. By the way. Yeah, I mean it's it's a thing where it's like I wonder if people think like you and I were like we do that. You know, it's like we we think we do it, and then somebody tries to tell it, and you're like shut the fuck up. I don't even need to hear that. Well, so I tried to find the original meme, and one thing that was super funny that was like the third thing on Reddit when I I went to a Reddit link, it had this posted. (laughs) The third thing down was like, well, uh. I'm autistic, so number four, body language, that's going to be a pretty tough one. For right, me. yeah. It's <laughs> like, like, what do you mean, body language? He's like, I'm going to have to really perfect that. And then it's like, oh, well, we both have resting bitch face, too. So yeah. it's like, <laughs> maybe say, we don't have it all. Yeah, even if I'm not in a bad mood, I'll be thinking about, like, next thing to do or to-do list, usually. And it's kind of like, it, it It just looks like I'm pissed. But right. I, if I'm doing anything where I'm working with my hands or anything. But what if I, we were fucking Giacomo's that were fucking walking around with, a, like, a stone smile. I know on face you look like an idiot. You look dumb. Yeah, yeah. I rather, I'd rather look angry and unapproachable. Right. But I, you get us in a room. You know, we'll. We're kind of nice. We're kind of nice. If you're nice to us. Um. So I try to write like, in our kind of brand message of, we want to get pragmatic business advice, but a little tongue in cheek, dick jokey kind of way. Mm-hmm. So. I try to think of all the things I try to tell people to do if I'm if I have a independent contractor I'm hiring and I'm like, hey, I can't tell you what to do because I'm technically not your boss. But here's something that someone told me that could help you out, maybe. Right. Right. So Just a little nudge. Um, here's my here's my uh, tend to add. And so I'm, I think I tied I'm titling this like. Uh, Just making sure. That <laughs> yeah. Is that warmed up? Crickets. Is that warmed up? Feed the crickets. The crickets warmed up. All right. Uh, 10 things that will retain your zero status. Uh, that's that's what I'm trying to call it. Zero status being like... You're a zero. It, the, the original one's called 10 things that require zero talent. I'm trying to write something that says 10 things that'll keep you at a fucking zero. You zero. Zero in a good way. Yeah. I'm kind of being mean in this one. Uh, so, number one, write shit down. Mm. Yes. That's a great one. Um, we're going to break these down because yes. I want to go through them with you. Um, yeah, I write everything down. To a fault, I got a bunch of shit around. Like I have no idea what it means. I write everything down, even if you don't use it. Right? Yeah. Like even if you're scattered everywhere, it, it, you. I think you retain it like thirty percent more. Most people's memory will retain any, just anything they write down. Yeah. I mean, to this day, the three of us still send each other like sketch ideas. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't shot a sketch in four years, but we're still doing it just because it could lead to something. You never know where it's going to go. Part of and that's it, this is kind of a sub under know what you don't know 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 yourself or mm-hmm. know what you don't know know that you don't have a good, I don't have a good like memory for I have a weird selective memory for some stuff <laughs> yeah exactly me too and so like uh, if someone was like oh here, here's here's a great example 
You ever give directions to someone now? Driving? Yeah, by the way. It doesn't have an address. That mic, Law. Sorry. It's your first day. Yeah. Talk into it. Sorry. You gave us direct. You were like, there's a thing down in Ebor. This is side, I thought side about note. It. I thought about this as I was typing And that. you're like, if you come from the east, you'll be fine. And I if, to... if I had come from the east, I would have been fucked. You, you can't. You meant the I meant, west. I meant west. Okay. I know you mean west. Yeah. Now. Well. But it's a bit kind of a big period, mistake to make. I know. I was I was doing too many things at once. That's uh, if you do the complete opposite of what I say <laughs> and also not actually, acknowledge techni- it. Technically, I'm correct, but because uh, oh, you mean if I went around the all world the, all <laughs> the way around that parade or whatever? I drove all the way around the earth yeah. and came from the east. Technically, I'm still correct. No, right. I don't think that still works. No, actually, I know. I know. Still be no, worse. I fucked that up. That's that's my bad. It's a good thing I it's ignore the most list. of the things you say. Part uh, that whole exchange right now, mostly on the list. <laughs> Seriously, because right look, I down. fucked up. <laughs> Good. Uh, I I need to apologize for it. Ooh. Yeah. I'm sorry. I led you all down a bad path. What is happening? But I don't right need now? to overly apologize, right? Right. If I overly apologize, there's something weird about that. Right. So uh, we'll get to that. Uh, write shit down. I got two things about writing shit down. To do list in the morning. Do that. Mm-hmm. It's not hard. Even if you do uh, a task manager online, an app, like write. Address it. Just, just I, go I, to I it. It's Look to, at it. I think it's better to use that as like. Here's an organized view of everything, but I still think you should write stuff down. Keep that. S- Look, you want to be a fucking nerd about it, like I do. I need to get. I'm gonna get back to this. It's just keeping this pen in my pocket at all time, and I have like a Bluetooth uh, post-it or like a yeah. like a thing that fits in my back pocket. Right. It looks like a, I could write parking tickets with it. Basically, mm. that's what it looks like. It's yeah. got a little flip. Pretty cool. Put a little badge in there. Yeah. Looking fucking cool. Uh, but I need to keep that on me. I used to keep that on me like a waiter at all times. The good waiters. Not the waiters that uh, go, oh, I'll I'm remember a, it. I'm a professional waiter. I'll remember it. I'll remember it. You the, had chicken piccata. You had chicken cordon bleu. You had this filet. You had the, and then they know it. And wh- then you look stupid. Why risk it? I, just, I always wonder, like, no one's impressed by that. I really? Tip them more. I tip it's them like, more. It's like, meh. It's I know. like someone showing you a card trick. You're like, Okay. Well, that's good for you. How long did that take to learn? But what's the risk reward on that when you fuck up? Yeah. Like, damn it. Just drop Hold a bunch on. of cards just, everywhere. Just pretend like that, that didn't happen. Someone's got a food allergy you forgot about. You yeah. Know? I'm I'm with you. All right. The second But part- it's actually, it takes a long time to write all that shit down if you are writing it, unless it's one of those things at like Denny's where they just circle what you're getting on the pre printed pad. Well, that has pictures on it. but <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's But if you're writing it down, like, no, I'm saying, so, you, it you takes can, time. You can shorthand. You know, waiters aren't cooked. They got things to do. They got to move it along fast. Look, I'm just saying uh, there's a lot out there. A lot of people out there, th- I'm using that as an example, not everybody. I'm saying, like, most people do not have that kind of memory. Yeah. And they don't work on it either. I think you can work on stuff like that. But uh, I think it. I don't see the cost benefit of really doing it unless you are that much quicker. Yeah. Right? The other part of uh, uh, writing shit down is, if your superior is telling you to do something, get a pen and a pad out, write that shit down, even if, like, look as if, right? Yeah. It's the same way where it's like, hey, we're having this uh, party in a month. Even though you know you're not going to go, I'll still pretend to put it in my calendar. Or I'll actually put it in my calendar so yeah, I know not to text that person and be like, hey, what are you doing today? You're telling me oh, about my your party kids. today. I don't know. I've never met. Hmm? I'm out. I'm not listening to that story. Oh, right. But I'm going to look interested, right? Right. All right. So uh, so write shit down is number one for me. Number two, Google before asking. Yes. Right? Yes. That's the best. I'll, I've told this story before on this podcast, but it's one of the best things I ever learned with like my first real job. I worked at a mutual fund company in Santa Monica, first college, first job out of college. It's called Dimensional. Uh, they made their own mutual funds, index funds. Super boring. I'm not going to go down that route. But I was a grunt for like 20 dudes, right, mm-hmm. in my in my department. Uh, and did you come in? I had to do for a lot 20 of, dudes. I had to learn a lot of Excel before. Like, there's a lot of tutorials out there on YouTube. There's a lot. This right. is like 06, 07. Right. And so you kind of had to like read a book or like find a website that laid it all out. Yeah. It wasn't as easy sometimes. So I never. I would. I would learn how to do stuff. On in Excel and not write it down, which is right. stupid. And then, secondly, um, I would had that bad habit of asking everybody for help before even just trying it on my own. Right. That's yeah. That's something that's like 
institutionalized into your like my kids are that way daddy can you get me water not even thinking about doing it themselves that's their like, first thing you'll catch me too i'm not all i do it things, too I, I wrote all these to write them to myself oh yeah By yeah way, i should preface this whole list yes we do all I'm, we I'm don't shit. do these things yeah all we right. do we're just as guilty as of not doing these things as anybody else but we're very aware when it happens like if i ask you something without doing it and i'm like i shouldn't even I'm t- I talk shit like, to I'm myself sorry. in this voice that I'm writing it in <laughs> as, like, a idiot. football coach almost. Yeah. Because the- these are, like, negative reinforcement is good for this. So, uh, like, John Paul just asked for something on Slack. I was like, uh, the Wi-Fi password. And I was like, just search Slack. Newsflash, asshole! I'm the dick, though. I get it. I'm the dick because I'm not going to go the extra effort to find it in slack no i mean yeah we had another situation just the other day or like search that shit don't what are you asking me to resend things that i've sent to you twice already and i know it's in your inbox bro right i don't want to take your time if i what i found out so the best part about that learning that in 06 at that job was i asked i think it was my buddy sean shannon or joe chrisman i can't remember but one of those two guys and I was like, hey, how do you do that V lookup thing, that formula to kind of populate stuff in it? And he's like, oh, oh, cool, cool. Let me let me show you. <laughs> and he came over to my computer, typed in Google, and he's like, and then he got in my face and was like, <laughs> look it up your fucking self. And then I was like, oh. And everybody heard it. Dude, yeah. In an open office area. It's the same, like, the same people thing as, like, like Fuck! you know, like, when your dad calls you a pussy for the first time, you know, for when you deserve it. And you're like, Okay. We're almost there for that Okay. One. Yeah. You know, that I kind of get that now. Like, you know, you need that every once in a while. Yeah, that's my actual. I want to make it I'll clear jump... my dad wasn't calling me a pussy 24 hours a day. But Just I, now, there was something does. I was bitching about, you know, when I'm like 16. He's like, yeah, being such a bitch. Right, like, right. Like, oh, shit. Okay. That's yeah. why you need guy friends. I don't trust that guy that's only has women only, as friends yeah. or vice versa. Right. I, don't, I don't. Yeah. You need that. You need that same sex of, of of friends to call you out on your shit. Yes. Um, that I'll jump to that number four internalized criticism. Yeah. Don't be a little baby bitch. Right. I need. Yeah. To, I need to rewrite that one. Well, don't. I mean, but it's internalized. Yeah. And it, really, every one of these has a lesson that is technically business related. Like I have the, like this one is professional, not personal. Yeah. I mean, it's it, right. Don't you take know. criticism. Hey, you relate to getting me this email. Yeah. Don't go to defensive mode right was, away. I was, I said, right. A, but, uh, Lots of people be they they come up with their their excuse or their their retort before they think about, well, okay, is this person giving me advice that I can actually use and like are they really coming at me and was it my fault? I mean, most of the time, you know, if somebody's to that point, you should probably just listen to it. You know, if they're saying something about it, it's like, fuck. That's that's been internalized on their end already for a while. Yeah, that's uh, a preloaded excuse is interesting too. Do you uh, ever do it where you're like, "Hey, you've been late and you didn't even finish the sentence," right? And yeah. they're like, blah, 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 blah. and it's like, "Hey, come on, I'm just just telling you what's going on." Yeah, please stop making this a habit. Yeah, and act sorry. So on the other side of that, uh, if you want to internalize correctly, I you always have to think of the other side, right? And so if a manager's telling you something, a internalize that behavior. Is it actually happening? Probably, maybe. Even if it's not, your manager thinks it's happening. Right. Your boss. And to a degree, that perception is reality that matters. Right. You know? Right. So you need to figure that out. And look, not a lot of people are good managers. Very rare do you find good people that give a shit enough to take a management class. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you're like, my boss doesn't know shit, he probably doesn't. Yeah. He probably doesn't. Uh, They were probably doing your job not too long ago. Right. And said, hey, you want to be a manager? So empathize with that part. Strat- I would strategize around that if you can, you know, mm-hmm. play play up to that. Okay, you know, I've I've been in places where I'm like, oh, this guy doesn't know anything about this part of what I'm doing. I'll be so good about that, but I'm gonna write a playbook for him and say it's for other people that he can, but he can, he can read it too. Yeah, right. Yeah, as a like a way of like, hey, you give him an out. Yeah, you don't know about this. This is gonna make my job better. Yeah, right. Right. All right, so. You, don't go, forget you've skipped three. I skipped three. Uh, uh, <laughs> you're an adult. Learn how to sleep. No one gives a shit about how uh-huh. little sleep you got, Carol. Exactly. In accounting. Right. We don't care. Unless you have a that newborn a, baby. Eh, even then. There's very few excuses for not sleeping. Like, if you come to... 
I have no sympathy for hangovers. With be, like if you're yeah, because you had over, fun on the front end of that, right? Exactly. Pres- eh, presumably, unless I you're mean, like Nicolas Cage and leaving Las Vegas. Again, uh, okay, haven't seen it, but uh, that sort of thing drives me fucking nuts. Where it's I'm like, a prickly oh, pear. I'm gonna Sorry. now feel bad for you, right? Because right. of your fun time, right? Especially when we're dad boners and we're going to sleep at nine and like <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, I don't want to fucking. I mean, it's a double whammy. You got to go out and I had to stay home. And you're hungover, and I'm cutting, picking up your slack. Now, look, Ugh. if someone walks in your house every night and hits, like, two trash can lids together, old school cartoon style, <laughs> yeah. and you can't do anything about that, I, I'll, I'll feel bad for you. Right. <laughs> Other than that, you know, that, how often does that happen? Yeah, I'll feel bad for the baby if you have a baby. But, you know, if we're getting into year five of this baby that's right. not a baby anymore, then... Mm, uh, Look, yeah, the sleep that, thing, that's an that one, easy I str- one. I struggle with that one. It's an easy one. Yeah, but... I can't shut my brain off at Right, night. yours is a little bit different. It's hard. And because I, you're not on a schedule that normal people are on, and it doesn't, you don't have to be, also. It, I do and I don't. I know I need to be to rain, to get the best out of myself kind of thing, mm-hmm. but uh, sometimes it's just like, right now, what I, what I got to do is right now not beat myself up if I don't do it. A hundred percent. Yes. Which I that's what I do before that's hard to I do. feel guilty. Just so you know, although I think we're gonna go we're, long. Yeah, we're gonna go long. Um number five, put your fucking phone down. Mm. In the in in your office, it, it's bad it's just bad optics, basically. It's kind of more of the general gist of this. Uh huh. If I'm in an office, I'm manager, I see my employees on their phone, it usually not business. All right. Right? Yep. Like aside from like your uh, reality setup kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Look, if we're doing the podcast, you can use the devices to. If it's not part cost of labor kind of thing, yeah, like involved in what you're doing. If yeah. you're a realtor and you're at a realty company, you're gonna be checking your phone all the time because yeah. you're in the relationship business, really. right? But as far as like, oh yeah, I'm doing work on my phone, but you're not, or and you have a computer in front of you, right. or access to one, which is usual, yeah, uh, like white collar office space sure place or if you're blue collar right sure that, works that, the same that, even more so it's obvious then all the blue collar guys i'm friends with tell me about like that that is an issue because that's their one computer too <laughs> so everything comes in, so you're a carpenter like all your shit comes into that yeah that is your everything technology wise right and then also your crappy country music you're listening to yeah, too. yeah. Uh, on pandora or something so Put the phone away. I try to put mine outside when we're doing the podcast because I don't want it to be a distraction or uh, airplane mode, whatever it is. Yeah. Don't be that guy too in a meeting or God, God damn, like something where it's kind of professional. Yeah. And shit goes off. Yeah. Uh, there's something about that that's like being thoughtful, I think. Is yeah. Really it's a lesson. manners sort of just like be uh, present. Yeah. It, it's, it's key and, it's uh, so again. These aren't. It's got to like, be enforced too. It's these, like these aren't. Gonna, so we start being cell phone buckets, you know, like at the key the, parties and stuff. What? What's that? You know, don't they do that? No. Uh, it Nothing? seems like you got some insight. Nothing. I was gonna say, big stand, stand up shows are doing that. Key parties. Anybody? Um, number six, apologize correctly for your fuck ups. Yes. Okay. So don't <laughs> over apologize. mm Hmm. Uh, don't under apologize. You mm-hmm. gotta find, like, if you really fucked up and it's on you, mm-hmm. and you you're really struggling, <laughs> you gotta pull someone aside and be like, "That is my bad." Yeah, apologies are weird because learn how to fucking apologize. Yeah, Number there's one. there's not just there's. I'm really sorry I did that. Is not the same as. <laughs> listen, I messed up. I'm sorry. Like, you know, it won't happen again. I understand what I did wrong. Like. Lots of apologies are, well, I mean, yeah, I, I'm sorry I did that, but, like, you were doing this thing that med- made me do that, and then, like, ugh. Yeah, we look, we've all been there. If you're in a relationship, Art. you will do that. Mm-hmm. And you don't want to, like, one of those things, if I'm talking relationship, not professional, but, like, if, if you're significant other, you guys are fighting, most guys will apologize just to get out of that fight. <laughs> But Even well, I'm though a, I'm like, a great actor too, you so. should stick to your guns. Your part of you is like, uh, I don't know, I don't really believe this, and I don't want to apologize for it. But right, and it, at any rate, in a working environment, a lot of people don't know how to apologize. A lot of people just think that it'll just go away. 
right? Yeah. Now, well, I mean, you say that it's if like you're it's over apologizing, though. Like, I have a problem with that. Yes. And that. That's a red flag just because it's like, wait, it did you do anxi- something? It it's... feels anxious to them. And I'm not anxious about it. I'm just, to me, I thought that would be more of like transparent. Oh, I just think, wait, they're so. They be seem like, sorry, to be this like... is late, blah, 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 blah. And a lot of people are like, you don't have to send that. It's not even late. And you're like, well, it's late for me. Yeah. And they're like, they don't know that. <laughs> That's your own standards. Yeah. So shit like that. But I mean, like, we say it was relationships, but like, you have relationships at work that are going to, they can build up, you know, uh, resentment just as much as a, oh, a yeah. personal relation, you know? So, for like, sure. For sure. Yeah. Just be a nice person. But a lot of adults do not internalize and do not know how to apologize. It's really crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. Right? Um, it's almost like the flip-flopper thing, you know? What, you can't change your opinion? Well, either? it's just like, <laughs> it's just, you know, people dig their heels in, and they they don't want to look stupid or, like, weak or something by apologizing. Yeah, that's why I don't like, I don't like, people don't change, bro. And I'm like, well, <laughs> if you keep perpetuating that, then maybe right. they won't. Right, yeah, great. I don't know. Uh, I, I think people do change. I think change is inevitable. I don't think they could. I don't think you, you can decide change. that much. Yeah. Like there's just some things that will make you change. Yeah. Same right? people don't change is just. Just talk about you're giving yourself an out to be lazy. Just think about health reasons. Like you, you, ha- you have to change your lifestyle change. at some point. Right. Um. All right. So that to me also that's part of this too. The whole, the whole gestalt, the whole gist of this is that, uh, that you can change. Right, you sure. can't change these habits. It's hard. Like, yes, the answers are simple. The behavior modification is difficult. Yes, there's like a you have to pull yourself to do it. I saw David Goggins talking about Ooh. how he pulls himself. It's a pull. You got to pull your ass out of bed. Right, not right. pushing to get get it done. Right, that's such why a put... simple, stupid, like mental thing. And, and it's you like, get to yeah, not have to. You get to pull yourself get, out of bed. I'm an American. I, I am the pull out king. I get to run my own business. Right. I have the I have a lot of hours in the day. Even sometimes I don't think I do. Yeah. It's because I'm not being disciplined on my stuff. Exactly. Right. All right. Um let's see. Uh be 15 minutes early or you're an asshole and late. Yep. Football coach. That's old college football rule. Um mm-hmm. that's applied to any high school football player. Mm-hmm. I really don't have a lot of tolerance. Like I'll give you like every now and again. It's the same be, as like, the sleep thing. Five times in a row. You're like now you're just kind of a dick. Yeah. No, you're just you did to me you're kind of stupid. And I you re- don't know how a clock works for I, real. Like you can't figure that shit out. I'm definitely I definitely have been yelling at at a buddy uh Nick Hoff at one point we got in a spat about it. Uh on the road we just on the road too long and we won't take care of ourselves. <laughs> but I was like, You think your time's more valuable than ours? Like you know, when you say shit like that and you're like, <laughs> fuck. That's not my. That's not me. <laughs> that's not me. But it, it's true. But it is true. It's true, right? It is selfish. It's a weird like, and I've been in the room where I'm like, "All right, we got to go wheels up," you know? Like, yeah. You're like, C- "Come on, yeah. we go." And he's like, I, uh, uh, uh. I'm like, "You're not doing anything." Yeah. You're I'll wa- go when I feel like it. You're watching fucking catfish. Like, right. yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right. Um, eight number eight continuously improve, right? Or wait for another meme to motivate you. Yes. Right, like this. So, uh, you, I have, I have a real bad problem with this. I'll get to a point where I'll get through a bunch of work, and I'll kind of get content, and I'll get back into some like eh, I can kind of rest, yeah. I can kind of blah blah blah. Now you need to build on on the good habits you're doing, build yeah. on the good work you're doing. Yeah, right? there's there's no such thing as plateaus. It's all either you're going up or you're going down. A I'm firmly of- believing, like, dude, it's never you're never gonna reach your capacity. You'll always be able to do more. Yeah. Like that's this thing people just think they're going to get they're not going to be able to do it all. It's called the Just do it all. Hedonistic uh treadmill, treadmill or or stair climber. You get to This is why famous really famous people are miserable. They get to an area, they got to this upper echelon and they're not what they thought it was. Right. And so now your expectations were crazy. Yeah. And this is more self-reflection. I put this under that sure. category. Like Know what you really want, kind of thing. Yeah. Same with number nine, as far as self reflection, be curious about your own life. Like, be curious in everything if you can. Yes. But be curious in like, all right, how am I gonna kind of fix this problem? How am I gonna kind of? I'm not just talking about like looking at a, a painting and going, oh, I wonder what they're what this guy's yeah. going for. Like, 
Look, that's good too. That's a good curiosity. You can foster curiosity, I think. Yeah, I think it's that's the hard thing. I was gonna say it's like how do you find out what's gonna make uh, find out what you like about that thing that you're curious so or that you need to be curious. Say shit about. out loud, even if you're by yourself. Like why you know why yeah. is this this way? But a lot of people are curious. I think they stifle it. I think you get a lot of people around you that will push it down. Yeah, I think I guess the better way to say it is just find out the the best way that it interests you. Like how do you need to look at this thing? To make it interesting. Um, yeah, I'm not even talking about like an ability to be creative or artsy. Like, I'm I'm talking like I need to fit write a problem down and then try to pro go. I need to, I'm going to sit down and try to figure out this problem, even though I know zero about it. Yeah. Right. We're saying the same thing. I'm yeah, just yeah. saying how do you get to how do you make yourself do that? I guess. Well, if you figure I mean, out how to make that's it one way I do it. I'll, yeah. I write down a flex list of stuff. Like it's not urgent. It's important, but. I'll get to it kind of at nighttime when I'm fading out. So it has no due date necessarily. Right. But I'm like, how can we streamline this process in here? Um, yeah, the the podcast does fall into a lot of that area so it's where like, it's like I can bonus. flick on my phone while I'm on the bike, like sit down bike or whatever at the gym and kind of figure out frames per second on video and what bit rate we need for the audio and all these things that are not like super urgent, but I need to make myself be curious about learning this part. Right. Even yeah. though you're more of the tech and John Paul's more of a tech on this part. No, but that's good. I need that's, to know it as part of. Yeah, the exactly. Too. That's how you got to be. It's just, you know, that it's going to come up eventually. Um, and then act as if, dot, 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 <laughs> you're Mormon. Mm. We talked about this on previous episodes servant leadership. Uh, right. About the CEO of JetBlue and how he. He kind of expressed that servant leadership. He was the guy always trying to make things better, always had a good attitude, really followed the, the ten, the, the ten uh, items on the first list that we had, mm -hmm. the meme that everybody's seen. He really followed that to a T. The, the deal with, I think, the Mormon guys is Howard Hughes used to hire them because they didn't steal, they didn't drink, they didn't do drugs, right? Right. They're hungry. Yeah. I think one big thing they have as an advantage, and this might be a little narrow-minded, but I don't think they have... I ain't worried about getting too much pussy. Well, there you go. Is that it? No. Uh. <laughs> I was just going to let that drift. No, uh, I don't think they have as many distractions, as many things going on. That's exactly what I was going to say. It's going to sound like I'm making fun of them, but I'm saying... It's not, it's though. It's not that. I think they just choose a lifestyle from their religion that... Basically, for better or worse, you don't have a lot of exposure to everything, and a lot of, of us now have overload. I feel like they are not for want. Like, they don't have the same uh, extreme desires that a lot of, I don't know, Gentiles? That's really more in relation to the Jews. Regular Christian. Right. Let's call that... Non-Mormon. You know, it's just like they have a better focus. Let's call it Red, Red Christian. <laughs> Red Chris. Yeah. Got it. Um, but yeah, there's the distractions. Like they don't have that. They're not coming in hungover, right? They're not. You know, they're going to bed at a regular time because they're disciplined. Usually, they're not. You have saying, to be disciplined. I've got to seven not wives. Caffeine. I didn't get enough sleep. Right. They make it happen. That's even crazier. That they're sad. That's, they're that's <laughs> fundamental Mormons, though. To be fair, right. I, I I'd like to make fun of that and throw a flippant joke out, but the fundamental Mormon stuff is what everybody thinks about, mm -hmm. and that's a very, 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 very small yeah. population. Um, is that all 10? That's all 10. So write that's shit good. down. Google before asking. Learn how to sleep. You're a goddamn adult. Uh, internalize criticism first. You know, professional, not personal. Put your fucking phone down. Uh, <laughs> apologize correctly for your fuck-ups. Be 15 minutes early or you're an asshole and late. Continuously improve or wait for another meme like this to motivate you. Be curious uh, and then act as if you're Mormon. Love it. That's a good list, buddy. What about Thanks. my sweat good equity? Job. Sweat equity pod sweat com. Equity. I did good. Sweat, 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 sweat equity. I sweat equity. That's all you guys do, man. That's all you guys do, man. What about my sweat equity?